मारनिया वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन सो वी प्रैक्टिस्ड अप टू स्टेप 6 यस्टरडे एंड जस्ट इनिशिएटेड स्टेप 7 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 1 exercise 1 is ab about observing the self by the self that is observing the consciousness by the consciousness and for this we started observing our imagination in step 1 in particular the feeling without any reaction without any judgment any effort to stop or change the imagination just observing it as it is in step 2 we try to evaluate it and see whether the feeling that i have at this moment is naturally acceptable to me or not that is to say whether i want the continuity of it or not that is whether it is in accordance with human nature or not in step 3 we looked at the state of being of myself and try to find out whether i am comfortable within i am in harmony within where i am happy within or not In step four, we started looking at the decision maker. Who is taking the decision for this feeling? Is it me, or somebody else, or the situation outside? Ultimately, who is deciding the feeling? In step five, we started looking at the basis of the decision, whether it is right understanding or some assumption in me. And then we could see that if I am unhappy and i am 100% responsible for my unhappiness then it certainly means that i have some assumption inside which is not in line with my natural acceptance so i need to ensure right understanding in me unless i have the right understanding happiness is not going to be ensured so this is something that i could observe at the level of feeling so in step 6a we started asking ourselves what is naturally acceptable to me feeling of relationship or opposition feeling of harmony or disharmony feeling of coexistence or struggle and then we could conclude that it is ultimately feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence that is naturally acceptable to me hence i need to awaken to the higher level activities of the self that is contemplation understanding and realization so this much we had practiced and we initiated step 7 where we said that let us ensure now that i have a feeling of relationship i have a feeling of harmony i have a feeling of coexistence at this moment so when someone says something rude or disrespectful shouts or gets angry notice your feeling for this person is your feeling in line with your natural acceptance if it is not in line reflect on the feelings that are in line with your natural acceptance can you ensure a feeling of relationship a feeling that is naturally acceptable to you for this person within you at this moment if you can do this at this moment you can also do it at the next moment and the next and so on so note down your observations so based on this if you have any reflection right now you can raise your hand if any question is there you can raise your hand so as we are seeing earlier that we have to now become more and more observant of our imagination and at least every 4 hours we have to be with ourselves and observe ourselves observe the feeling inside evaluate it look into the natural acceptance and now trying to transform it so this is something that i have to keep doing so every 4 hours we have to spend at least 10 to 15 minutes make it a point that you are able to do so in the morning session you were attending for 1 hour okay now we had also tried to set up some routine like this so by 10 o'clock then 2 o'clock then 6 o'clock and then before going to sleep we can see if we can spend some time with us now when we are not just thinking about our daily activities about our commitments and responsibilities outside or our concerns for the rest of the world let us observe our imagination our feeling and we'll see that if you start doing this regularly okay then you can sort out things very fast and you are also getting resolved day by day there will be moments when you can see the reality 
moments when the natural acceptance clearly reflects upon you and then you can be more clear about it right? and the things that you are trying to carry within which were not very necessary something which was not worthy of even assimilating within you are able to get rid of it so do this you know, make it a routine second thing that moving from thought we have to go to the feeling and we have to ensure that we are able to observe the feeling every moment that observation of feeling is very important this is something as a takeaway from this whole exercise that at least i can see my feeling every moment and rest of the things will follow this will also be useful when you are going for exercise two so presently that no hand is there what we'll do we'll observe for 10 minutes right and then we'll take your reflections or questions so let us observe for 10 minutes and then we'll move ahead nice so we can keep observing this and now we have to ensure the right feeling in us so having observed my feeling at this moment evaluated it owning the responsibility of the feeling looked into the basis of that feeling looking into my natural acceptance now i have to ensure the naturally acceptable feeling in me now like once in a day you now we can do this but the requirement is that i am able to do it every moment okay during my normal routine of the day during some moment when i'm getting anxious or disturbed or uncomfortable when i'm having some uh, environment outside which is not very congenial not very favorable but i have to keep on doing this i have to ensure this within and if you can do this at this moment you can also do it at the next moment and so on so forth so in step 7 we are trying to ensure the right feeling uh ji bhaiya namaste namaste sabhi uh, whenever i am going to observe it myself i am getting the first picture and then and then i am going towards the feelings so uh, bhaiya is it the uh, uh, correct way to observe for it see just do it you know whatever you are able to see to begin with just continue with it gradually you start being aware of your feeling every moment ji bhaiya and you see that like as you keep on observing your competence to observe grows but if you maybe do not do it for some days together then again you have to restart the whole thing so make it a process and gradually see that you start achieving inside looking into your feelings and that achievement motivates you further ji bhaiya ji bhai to observe the feeling the way you are able to evaluate the feeling and sort out things at the level of feeling itself without involving much the thoughts right so ji you can see how, how enriching it is and once you are able to see this kind of development in you so you will get motivated further so whatever you are able to see to begin with just observe and then carry on ji bhai ji ji namaste bhai ji namaste ji namaste bhai namaste all namaste uh, in course of discussion you told that whenever there are multiple thoughts and it is your option to go for the last or the first or middle and uh, and you also told that uh, whatever may be the thoughts you see inside the feeling so suppose multiple thoughts are disturbing me so in that case i see that how it is how i am disorganized within and that that is not a not, not according to my natural acceptance so oh, in that case i see that the feeling of opposition 
and then the, the rest for steps follows. So like that, I can go for out. Thank you. Yes, you can go like that. And if you have some disturbing thoughts, <laughs> you can also note those thoughts in your copy, in your journal. Note uh, them during down. The, during the meditation, I mean, give steps. Yeah. During the steps or after? That. Yeah. It's up to you again. See, there is no prescription as such. The essence is clear. The essence is to be able to see the feeling, own the responsibility, and if it is not naturally acceptable, then transform the feeling. This is the essence. So yeah. you can note it down. Okay. Maybe at mom some moments there are jumble of thoughts. So just note them down because behind every thought there is some feeling, and you might have some concern, some worries. Right, as you have been mentioning, few of the worries. So just note them down. And then what you can do, you can think about it further. Yeah. If the feeling is clear, you can make the program. If the feeling is not clear, then you may not be able to make the program. Sometimes it does happen that I'm trying to sort out the level of feeling, but maybe I have assumed something which is not very clear to me. So when I look mm -hmm. into that assumption, if I question all those things, for example, for my baby also, child also, right? I've assumed something. That assumption is not clear to me. I'm always getting some disturbing thoughts or feelings. Now, if I start questioning even those assumptions, that why have I assumed like this? Why do I feel that it is my responsibility completely to make my child lead a happy and prosperous life, right? And if the child is not able, able to ensure it, then why do I feel so much disturbed? What have I assumed within me? You, if you start asking all these questions to you, then you will clear up that assumptions also, those assumptions also. So, even after being able to observe the thought or the feeling, if you're not able to make out the assumption, then those assumptions keep on disturbing you. So, we have to resolve that. For that only, we are trying to observe the assumption and trying to even look into the natural acceptance and then go further. So I'll say that uh, there will be a variation in the way we proceed that will vary from person to person. Right? So no need to worry about it. The essence is clear. The essence is to be able to contemplate on the right feeling. To understand the harmony. Isn't it? To realize the coexistence. Yeah. For yeah. that only we are using the process. And the process is more important. If you focus on the process, the outcome will be naturally there. But if you do something and then expect the outcome, so that will be somewhat disheartening you, depressing you. Yeah. It's just yeah. like I sow a seed in the soil, right? And the next day I again dig the soil and see whether the seed has germinated or not. Again put it back, again take it out. Now if I keep on doing this, the plant will never emerge. Yeah. So I have to enter into that process. So, yeah, I have one clarification still. That suppose the second thought comes. So right there, I will jot down the the my feeling there, mm. or I will wait for the other thoughts to come. No, no. You keep on observing. That's all. <laughs> thoughts will be coming one after another. Yeah. As I was mentioning, thoughts will be coming one after another, and yeah. it may be the case there is a common feeling behind all these thoughts, right? For example, you have some feeling of fear. That fear would be causing multiple thoughts mm -hmm. to you. Maybe I have fear of life, mm -hmm. okay? I have fear about relationship. There is some mistrust, for example. And, uh, now that mistrust would be causing so many thoughts in any relationship. So the thoughts are not important. If I'm able to see that this is mistrust, I can see why I'm getting this mistrust and I'm able to resolve it by looking to my natural acceptance. It will be sorted. Else I'll keep on collecting you know, garbage inside me, also noting down in the copy. So the important part is to be able to see that feeling. But if you're not able to see directly, then you can note down all those things and then try to derive the feeling out of it, maybe at the level of thought, and gradually, because you're not able to see the feeling directly, 
so you can do this to begin with and gradually then you can make out the feeling and then observe it further and then transform it up to you yeah thank you thank you very much nice bija ji bhai i just i wanted to reflect on the yesterday's assignment that uh, in many instances uh, i can see like something is happening which is not uh, desirable or something disrespectful or and uh, somebody is behaving in certain way i don't desire so uh, earlier there were the reactions that slowly the reaction uh, stopped and inside dialogues were going on and like this question step 2 and step 4 particularly step five all these help to come out of all this and uh, when we say Uh, doing this at this moment and next moment, it has also happened. But when we say every moment, that is yet to happen. And uh, the most, uh, I should say, crucial part I could see that once these things are uh, done, and that gives a space to the other, and uh, when outside environment means other see. that your reaction is stopped and sometimes responses are coming then other starts uh, you know feel comfortable and there is some change in the other also that i have also observed and that is very much fulfilling that uh, means when you uh, say when i am when i when i am comfortable then i am making other comfortable and now other is becoming harmonious looking at our definite standard and that also gives a, a scope for participation in the larger order like i am not stopped with the other or other behaviors and where there is a chance of opposition or there is a chance of fighting long term argument there comes an uh, team instead of that and working towards a common goal that is in in case of uh, you know workplace also i have observed so this is very fulfilling here yeah. every day i am get to reflect here thank nice, you nice bhaiya nice yes if i am resolved within if i am comfortable within i am able to make others also comfortable and that also becomes a chain reaction the way we make people uncomfortable it acts like a chain reaction in a similar way if i am happy and spreading happiness outside that also becomes a chain reaction yes it means a chain not exactly reaction yes <laughs> nice thank you so in step 6a we are able to see that it is feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence which is naturally acceptable to me and not otherwise therefore in step 7a what we want to do is to ensure at this moment i have the feeling of relationship and not the feeling of opposition the feeling of harmony and not the feeling of disharmony the feeling of coexistence and not the feeling of struggle if i can ensure this at this moment then i can be in a state of harmony happiness within at this moment similarly if i can ensure this every moment then i can be in a state of harmony happiness within every moment i can be in a state of continuous happiness so we are trying to ensure that i have the feeling of relationship so for example i am talking to someone right and i am getting uncomfortable i am developing some feeling of opposition inside me i observe it i look into my natural acceptance and i ensure that at this moment i am able to ensure this feeling of relationship with this person so that would essentially mean that i have the desire to make the other happy right and that will happen only when i am able to see that the intention of the other person also is to make me happy so whether i am able to develop that desire to make the other happy that would mean ensuring the feeling of relationship similarly you know if i am interacting with the rest of nature then do i have the desire to fulfill the rest of the nature 
or exploit it right deplete it what desire do i have so i have to work at the level of desire now when you go to your stories at the level of desire you may get some fresh questions so you can again go back and ask yourself what is naturally acceptable this person is shouting at me how can i have a desire to make this person happy at this moment does it mean that i should not be saying anything i should just accept the way he is re reacting to me then will the other person not start dominating over me right or assume something about me that i am just a very kind of survival you know, person and this person can do anything to me all those thoughts may occur to you then again you start looking into your feeling of relationship that if i have the desire to make the person happy then what does it mean does it mean submitting to the other or does it mean developing the right understanding and right feeling in the other so if you go into this process gradually you know with the feeling of relationship you can chalk out the program and if you can enable this within you right then you feel that after the situation is over then also you are comfortable if you reacted then maybe you reacted you said something at that moment right you somehow came out of the situation but whenever you remember that situation you are again uncomfortable whenever you see that person you are again uncomfortable because you were not resolved you could not sort it out within yourself so it becomes a kind of disturbing factor for you so you try to avoid those situations but if i am able to ensure the feeling of relationship okay so whenever i remember that situation i can see my role there and whenever we try to see the relationship with one person right rightly then i can see the same relationship with every other human being i can see the underlying feeling in every relationship of self and self so very good thing is that if i am able to ensure the right feeling in me at some moment with some person i can naturally extend it to other persons and every moment and then your question should be very genuine they would not be coming out of reactions or they would not be coming out of certain situations outside they would be coming out of your exploration about the rest of the nature about the human being okay you become more serious about observing the human being that is observing the self right what is the meaning of making others happy what is the meaning of making myself happy what is happiness essentially right what is prosperity essentially what is relationship essentially what is nature essentially all those things you start getting you know aware of you have some fresh questions also you can explore by yourself also so you have enough task for yourself now for you know being active every moment so now i'm thankful to that person i'm thankful to that situation that it has made me aware of my incompetence had that not happened i would not have been aware of that incompetence now that it has happened i can see oh these seeds of discomfort are there inside me and and they could germinate any time so i have to sort them out then we become more serious about what happiness is because in the name of happiness we are just trying to make our life comfortable by having comfortable situations outside favorable situations outside now i no longer work for favorable situation outside i work on my competence and the good thing is that the the more you work on your competence you know you are able to uh, resolve yourself you are able to find out your own shortcomings and then you'll see the situation becomes more and more favorable around you but you are not actually working for it it is a natural outcome so for example if i sow a seed in the soil water it you know provide enough manure to the seed then it will germinate into a plant it will grow into a tree and naturally it will nurture the rest of the nature it will fulfill the rest of the nature that is a natural outcome of it now that i have entered into that process so if i enter into this process of observing my feeling and showing the right feeling rest will follow isn't it and you can see that by observing the reality itself i am happy 
I am not happy by the outcome because the outcome is subjective. The outcome is indefinite. I am very much happy by observing the reality, observing the submergence, observing the you know, harmony in the nature, observing the relationship with every unit, be it human or rest of nature. I am very much happy by just observing it. I am no longer dependent on the outcome outside. The outcome may be sometimes favorable, sometimes unfavorable. That is fine. I do something for the other with a feeling of relationship. The other may not evaluate it rightly. So the other may get reactive. Right? If I am looking at the reaction of the other and then trying to drive happiness out, out of it, then I will get further disturbed. But if I can see that, no, my fulfillment has been in the right direction, the person may or may not observe it today. Maybe the person is not able to observe for the next 10 years. Later, he or she may be able to observe. Because I am clear about my feeling, I am clear about my program, I am clear about my role with this person. Isn't it? Is that fine? You can respond to the chat box. So I can ensure the right feeling in me at this moment. And thus I can ensure the right feeling in me every moment. So further in 7b, as I am able to understand relationship, harmony and coexistence through 6b, I am able to decide in favor of the right feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence in a very natural manner. And I am comfortable in harmony in a state of happiness within. Therefore, I can see that when I'm able to understand relationship, harmony, and coexistence completely, then on the basis of understanding, I will be able to decide the right feeling at this moment, the next moment, and every moment. I will be in a state of continuous happiness. Therefore, I need to develop myself by ensuring every moment, the understanding of relationship, harmony, and coexistence, the feeling, thought of relationship, harmony, and coexistence. With this, I can be in a state of continuous happiness within and share it. I can also be a source of happiness for others. Yeah, I'm just sharing that I can also be a source of happiness for others. Now we are trying to conclude this exercise, isn't it? And the final outcome is that I'm able to ensure the right feeling in me. I'm able to see the reality. I am happy with my participation, isn't it? Because my participation is not based on contemplation. It is not based on any assumption. And my participation is there at the level of feeling, right? Precisely. The program may vary from time to time. The details may vary from time to time. So at the level of feeling, I can have this within me every moment and showed in me. We had some issue in the college and we were just discussing it. Then one colleague said that, why not write a very strong mail you know, to the higher authorities? Let them also see that, yes, we are uh, getting upset with your conduct. And let them also get disturbed sometimes. So I said that, no, whatever happens, what is ultimately important is our feeling. Right? my feeling need not get disturbed that is of utmost importance because once our feeling gets disturbed and we become reactive then we also are exhibiting our incompetence the same way so no need to get reactive no need to you know, disturb our feelings we can always try to find out a solution with the feeling of relationships and then we'll see that if you're always responding to the higher authorities they are also able to appreciate it they are able to see their incompetence that had it been with me, I would have been so much reactive. But now that these people are also facing a similar situation, they are not reactive at all. And they are trying to you know, somewhat resolve the situation. They are trying to find out the solution. So for this, we have to keep on working. 
so i can ensure the right feeling in me every moment <clears throat> i can ensure the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence in me every moment nice so if you look at the assignment of step 7 so you need to become aware of your imagination of your feeling at this moment then check if you are feeling comfortable within or uncomfortable within at this moment if you are comfortable within your feeling at this moment is not based on right understanding so ask yourself can i ensure the feeling of relationship within myself at this moment can i ensure the feeling of harmony within myself at this moment can i ensure the feeling of coexistence within myself at this moment you may notice that with feelings based on right understanding or natural acceptance that is feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence you are now comfortable within you are happy within at this moment regardless of the situation outside if i can ensure the feelings of relationship harmony and coexistence within myself at this moment i can ensure this at every moment i can ensure my happiness within at every moment so all the steps the seven steps if you start going over them again and again maybe you are able to club some steps and if you are not able to do some step clearly then you can break that step into multiple parts so it's all up to us we can club multiple steps into one or we can break one step into multiple parts so that we are able to ensure the right feeling in us right and ensuring every moment is something complete and that will take time ensuring every moment right presently we might not even be aware of our imaginations of our assumptions so when we try to ensure every moment we get lot many more questions about the reality isn't it we start questioning everything on what basis i decide this feeling even on what basis i assume this so when you try to look into the assumptions you can see assumptions also layer by layer i assume something then i concluded something and hence i concluded something and hence i concluded something and here i am so now working on step 7b when i try to ensure the right feeling every moment then i'll go through all the steps as well as i will go through the proposal for the whole existence you know whether and try to go in more detail also so presently maybe the proposal has come to us in a brief form i may be it may be required to you know get into the reality get into observing the reality even you know more closely so that i need to study the proposal deeper and further so that also becomes my need now if i try to ensure the right feeling in me every moment ji bhaiya yeah, namaste namaste bhaiya i have a question here uh, the ultimate aim is to have the right feeling which is naturally acceptable to me at every moment but the thing is when when something is happening when i'm going through all these steps so at times i heard you telling that this is at the level of thought and it should be at the level of feeling so how is that i have to ensure that these natural feelings are at the level of feeling and how is that i can make up that it's only at the level of thought yeah so within me i can distinguish between feeling and thought if i'm just analyzing then this is something at the level of thought okay but if i'm seeing my role then it is at the level of feeling presently when i try to see my role it could be based on assumptions also fine but i am trying to make out my role not merely analyzing so you have to make out yourself whether it is feeling or thought so if it is only some thought i can look into the purpose further then i will get to see the feeling but this will again be something which will come naturally to you 
okay you are able to make out the difference between feeling and thought at the level of thought we will get a kind of jumble of thoughts so many thoughts coming one after another at the level of feeling this will not be there we will have a common underlying feeling with that feeling we are getting all these thoughts so you yourself have to make out that difference so by now as of now when i see if something is happening then i go through all these steps and then i make i make in such a way that a uh, feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable and then i go to that so yes it, this is at the level of thought right yeah 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 so this conclusion that i am making is at the level of thought huh. fine and now when i start working at the level of feeling again then i look into my natural acceptance and then try to ensure it within so of course thoughts have a role to play but the development will not take place at the level of thought development will take <clears throat> will take place at the level of feeling only so in the same scenario when can i say that it's happening at the level of my feeling again i'll say that you have to make it out okay so for example i concluded that you know i have to ensure the feeling of relationship with this person Hmm. Uh, if i am only analyzing the program how i should act with this person it is at the level of thought okay. but within me i can see whether i am feeling related or feeling opposed this is something that i have to see myself okay bhai okay bhai. maybe i am feeling opposed and i am trying to manage the situation uh, okay it may be the other i am feeling related hmm. and then i feel like complimenting the other i if i have the feeling of relationship with a person and some person is reacting or okay. not behaving properly mm. i will have pity on that person otherwise if i have opposition i will somewhat get irritated frustrated within so if i am having pity on that person then i am having the feeling of relationship if not then it may be the case that i am having an you know, opposition for the person okay my the thing is like that happens i feel opposed at first and then i see the natural acceptance and then i get back to it but as you said yes. when it is at the level of feeling i will not get the opposition uh, that will be a reverse way. okay bhaiya thank yes. you bhaiya uh, good morning ji good morning uh bhaiya exactly the same case Three days before I start uh, the feeling relationship, harmony, and in the line of natural acceptance for a person, but we we have daily interaction, and uh, after two three incidents, I feel is it worth to be in harmony with him again? I remember all your uh, uh, explanations, and I become pity on him. Uh, i feel that i am relationship with him and then bhaiya uh, now uh, after after giving your statement that it should be pity on him then you have a good relation with him i am feeling much more comfortable thank you for that so i wanted to share with you nice uh, but, nice but, but bhaiya it is it is a little bit uh, it requires more time it is little bit difficult difficult but but we uh, i am trying i am trying to change my feeling and be in harmony when i am alert it is 100% okay but when uh, alertness or when consciousness sometimes changes into irritation how to overcome that we again i'll say that these seven steps have to follow <laughs> so, <laughs> right 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 yeah right Right, perfectly. You have right. to go through the, all these seven steps. Uh, right. Let me also say that having the feeling of relationship does not mean submitting to the other. It essentially means developing the right understanding, right feeling in the other. Okay. Right. Yeah. So if somebody is doing something wrong to me, I will not submit to the other. Somebody is exploiting me. Somebody uh, is trying to manipulate. then it doesn't mean that i'll just agree to the other with a feeling of relationship i can see the lack of competence 
I can see that the other person does not have the feeling of prosperity. The other person does not have the feeling of affection. So I look into the program how I can ensure prosperity in this person. For yes, example, yes. the British came to India and they exploited us for so many years. We can still have the feeling of relationship. You can see that they were not feeling prosperous. They were into accumulation, indulgence for which they came to our country. So with the feeling mm. of relationship only, we can raise the right program. Isn't it? Right, Bhaiya. Right, Bhaiya. Bhaiya, I am thankful that I am out of the country. But even then, I am getting proper connection. No problem in listening you and interacting with you. Thank you for the arrangement that you, you okay. and your association has made it. Thank you, Bhaiya. Nice Thank you, Bhaiya. You are thankful to Zoom also. It has made our communication so comfortable. <laughs> right, Bhaiya. Nice, Bhaiya. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, Sabipo. Uh, Bhaiya, you were talking about showing uh, pity for the person who is lacking the competency. Not but, showing. Uh, having. <laughs> having. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> If you start saying that <laughs> but, thing on you, uh, then this person is going to get more reactive. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. And if we show really, the person will be more reactive. But then uh, um, I find it the most difficult thing uh, to show, uh, to have pity for the person who is cursing the person, people who re you revel and uh, cursing you continuously and cursing the people whom you revel uh, continuously. So um, I find that at several places I can uh, carry the feeling of relationship and I can uh, observe that the person is lacking in the competency yeah. Yeah. and continue that can be observed. But then you know, when this kind of cursing and all happens, it is really difficult. And uh, in that case, I really do not understand uh, how to behave. For a moment, I also become, for a moment, I become reactive. But then later on, that feeling of uh, kind of depressive feeling, ki, I cannot do anything uh, of uh, this person. That uh, continues um, for a little longer time. And uh, I feel helpless, like how uh, this person will change or will have, uh, will develop understanding. Because I can continuously see that the other person is not at all making any effort to improve upon the understanding in spite of several opportunities the person is not taking it and never want to rather the person feels whatever way i am behaving is the best way you people need all these things uh, as a support because you are weak and you cannot handle the situations on your own and according to the person uh, these situations are to be handled with that aggression and uh, with a louder voice then why do we need to attend all these things is what so these are the things I really wonder how and when um, the person will realize like there is a need to um, yeah, so, like, look one within. Thing that I cannot do anything about it is a little depressing, I'll say. But it's not the case. Yes. We can always do. See, <laughs> the point is that Very difficult. I have to work upon myself. The second thing is that I try to bring the outcome in a given time with a, you know, a person who is in front of us. No, that may take time. Okay. And mm -hmm. it's not only my effort that may be required. It could be a collective effort also. So I'm ready for all mm -hmm. that. If some person is cursing um, some person whom I really adore and I respect, right? Then I can also look into the reason why this person is so angry with this person, so opposed to this person. I can look into mm -hmm. the assumption of this person. And then I can mm -hmm. chalk out for myself how to and, uh, like open that exploration in that person. Which is so At close. least I am able to see, Bhaiya, that I am lacking that competence. That much I can see. Yes. And, because, and so I am become reactive is what I have seen. But then, as you said, some program has to be chalked out. Yes, yes. If I start contemplating on that relationship, I can always see. The point is when I have the opposition, then myself, I'm not comfortable within and I'm not able to see the right program. See, it is just like uh, a child 
is trying to walk and he's falling mm-hmm. every time i extend my hand to the child the child is not able to hold my hand right mm-hmm. may not have a desire to hold my hand at all right so in so a similar manner not able to take my hand falling again and again <laughs> yes falling again and again so this person is reactive this person is full of opposition revenge right all these things mm-hmm. trying mm-hmm. to hold the hand of the person the person is not holding my hand fine right yes. but i know how to you know help the child move you know the right way so i can always mm-hmm. have that program if he's not holding my hand somebody else's hand may help so we can try all those means many times people mm-hmm. are not ready to listen to us see the issue is that no this is a very common kind of thing and i have seen that this works very much like if you have a short line we generally try to prove that this line is short in place of proving it short if you try to draw a bigger line there the other the shorter line is able to see itself that yes you know how short i am and how you know uh, a better situation can be there so many times not just by arguing with the other or explaining to the other if you are able to work for the comprehensive human goal and if you are able to show demonstrate you know that a better situation can emerge right mm. then the other person will to see it very naturally and accept one's mistake the other person was not ready to accept one's mistake in words in front of you but now that mm-hmm. you have developed the alternative the other person is able to see the shortcoming in oneself so in many situation mm-hmm. you will see that this works better because words have a limitation and after some time we become defensive of our stand and the other person also become defensive of one's stand so you develop the alternative give right. it to the other mm-hmm. for example if you try to prove that through value education students can have a different conduct the other person will have so many arguments you demonstrate mm-hmm. it you authenticate it and the other person mm-hmm. though he will not come to you and say that i was i'm sorry for reacting earlier but he is able to see that yes this is possible so when mm-hmm. he has to share something about how education can be transformed he can give your example this person mm-hmm. is doing this yes we are at present so, a bigger line and i in front of a shorter line is always a solution because mm-hmm. many times through words through arguments through you know uh, just some sharing or dialogue the person may not be able to see the reality because one is caught up in the you know cocoon of oneself but mm-hmm. when you give it to the other the right way to live right see how harmony can emerge see how people can live happily together see how education can be transformed see how system can be transformed the other is able to accept it and this always works so we you know can discuss with the other only for a limited time if you feel that discussion is not helping fine i'll make a program you know and give it to the other that is yes, see how it is possible again i'm not proving it i'll try to also give some role to the other in that situation find it yes bhaiya uh, uh, i mean whatever you suggested i could see that uh, i have to continue to participate in the larger order keeping a few things aside uh, slowly i have to uh, uh, bring to the notice of the person that things can be more harmonious and we can uh, contribute to that and yes. uh, 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 i have to have more patience i have to increase my own competency so that i can see the relationship yeah yeah nice, but i find nice it very difficult at present and uh, rather impossible <laughs> this is my feeling at this moment i know uh, working harder may help <laughs> yeah the good thing That's is that i listen to my natural acceptance i find it simpler carrying some opposition mm-hmm. with for someone is much more difficult hmm that's it at least i should try to uh, carry the feeling of relationship while i am making all the efforts is what i can do yeah yes bhaiya thank you nice didi
भैया जस्ट आई विल टेक वन मिनट टू रिफ्लेक्ट वन एग्जांपल ऑफ इंस्टेंस हैपेंड रिसेंटली तो इन अ सिक्स मंथ्स बैक वी वर इवैल्यूएटिंग सम कॉपीज ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन एंड एट द टाइम सम पीपल वर सपोज्ड टू टेक यूएचबी इन द कमिंग सेमेस्टर सो यू नो दे वर जस्ट दे हैव अंडरगोन वर्कशॉप्स सो दे वर जस्ट चैट चैटिंग लाइक you know abaya didi so what will happen to this course means all kind of mockery and all so they were doing the evaluation table and i was side to that and they were also looking <laughs> at me and saying like okay what we will do like all funny moment I means it is of course in light of not but when uh, they started teaching i supplied them whatever study material whatever help uh, even not i all the team those who were teaching me to so they help them and slowly when in this uh, time they are evaluating the usb copy on the table it's you know very uh, i should say different moment like everybody is talking about all these proposals and looking at the copy and that funny moment is gone so uh, just to say not sell that you know, we need to give some time and we need to be very uh, consistent in our efforts without and on getting this stuff so it helps it will work ji so let's complete the nice english session we